In this video trade, I'm going to discuss the idea that accepting the risk on each trade might just be the one thing that keeps you in the game. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so if you've watched any of my videos and you've been around a while, I know that a lot of you guys have been since a long time. You watch a lot of the videos, so thumbs up. Appreciate your support, liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing all that kind of good stuff. It doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you guys. And I know that many of you, same guys are commenting, same guys are doing the same thing all the time. Appreciate you really, really doing. If you're new here, great to have you on board. Okay, so let's get on with it. The point of this is like, the when I talk about trades, uh, when I talk do a video, should I say, in the video I'm always saying keep the risk managed, keep the risk managed, keep the risk managed. You know I say that's generally how I sign off a lot of the videos. What does it actually mean when we say okay, accepting the risk on each trade, and that how will, how might that be the one thing that keeps you in the game? Let me explain. So before you take a trade, you take the trade, and it turns out to be a loser. Now. Very often, that losing trade can be the very first spark that ignites a sequence of events that leads to account destruction. And let me explain this even further. Because often, we will take a loser and it will frustrate us. It will annoy us because it, it, it really hits us at the heart of the human, not the trader. If you imagine the trader stands here, very clinical, very calm, very uh, has ability to trade, uh, thinking carefully and logically your decisions. And over here is the human who hates losing money, wants to keep on some money, doesn't want to see profits go, all that kind of stuff. And the kind of good trader sits somewhere about here, right? So they're kind of never going to be the full robot. Got a bit of human traits, but are not swinging from emotion to emotion. However, many traders are kind of in this part of it and trying to transition to here. And so when you have that loser, very often it can fire and ignite up feelings inside you that make you want to do things that are going to damage your account, makes you want to chase the next trade to get it back, makes you want to over trade to get it back, it makes you want to increase your size to get it back. And, this, and you can see how that can create a domino effect and then create ultimately a cycle of doom that means you're going to wipe out your account. You know over trading does that, we know oversizing and trading, over leveraging does that. We know eventually, it might not get you the first time, but eventually that leads to a lot of accounts getting held, especially over leverage. And you combine them all, okay, I'll trade more size, I'll trade more frequently, I'll chase the market. That's when you get the ultimate perfect storm or wipe out. So what stops you from doing that? Well, there's one thing before each trade is that you accept the risk on the trade. Now, let me tell you a story about how this came about for me and how I managed to kind of overcome this by just doing something relatively simple. So the problem we have with trading guys is that it's all numbers on the screen, right? 100 bucks here, 1000 bucks here, 10,000 here, whatever you've got in your account here, this, that, the other. It's all just numbers and we just see loss, profit, and we don't really feel it until it's crystallized and we see that account PL. Like, oh, didn't want to lose that amount. Didn't really fancy losing that amount. What's happened there? I kind of did my research and this and that. I didn't expect to be stopped out. Oh, I'm down. That's not very good. My account balance isn't very good now. If I keep doing that, and then you start going down the cycle and that could trigger an event. So, one thing I did was to accept the risk on each trade. Now that's easier said than done, right? It's, it's very, very common where people say, you must do this, must do this. And we know that habits are very, very hard to kind of crack and create new habits. So one thing I did was took out stacks of money, actually 50 pound notes, 20 pound notes, sitting there at the desk. Now, when I wanted to take a trade, I would say, okay, this is how much I'm risking on the trade. Let's call it a thousand pounds, right? Let's call it a thousand pounds. I'll risk a thousand pounds on this trade. Am I happy to risk that thousand pounds on this trade? Oh, no, I'm not. All right. How much am I happy to risk? Okay, well, I'm happy to risk 500 pounds, right? 500 pounds, so that makes this business size. Count out the 500 pounds and then put it in a section on the desk or in a tin on the desk and say, right, that's gone. Are you happy with that? And that's constantly asking you the question, would you be happy now if that disappeared? Are you happy to stake this to see if you're right on the trade? And for some reason that became more tangible to me. It's like, yeah, count out the money, 
No, I don't like this trait. I don't. I don't think it's a great trait. I don't want to risk that. Whereas before you might be saying, well, I'll have a go at it. I'll see if it works. It seems okay. You're like, no, no, I, I'm not going to. And you pull it back. Or you go, yeah, you know what? That seems like a really good. I'm happy. And then what happens is not only does it stop you taking trades that's substandard because you're accepting the risk and like, I don't want to accept the risk. You're taking trades at higher quality and you're fully accepting the risk, which is the key, guys. You're saying, yes, I'm fully accepting the risk. Here's my 500 pounds, here's my 1,000 pounds. And when you get stopped out, you go, you're not as bothered as you were before because you've taken the time to accept the risk on the trade. And yes, that might seem minor, like, well, so what? But the point is that doesn't ignite the effect, the domino effect that could have and cascade into blow up doesn't make you think frustrated, doesn't make you, listen, you're still not gonna be happy about the loss, but you're not gonna go there and go, oh, I need to get it back or I've made a mistake with that because you're accepting it and just that act. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that at all. I'm not saying go and get money out and do that. I'm saying have something that just stalls you from pulling the trigger, that just says, right, whoa, 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 just wait. How much is the risk on this? Do you really want to risk that amount of capital on this trade? And it's just taking that five minute period to decide, yes, I'm happy with it. And that was a physical thing of counting out the money and putting it in the tin. But it could be something different for you. The point is it stops you from diving in, not accepting the risk, then being shocked and annoyed and frustrated by the outcome if it's a loser and that causing a cascade effect that ultimately wipes out the account, guys. It's a small thing, it might seem meaningless, but honestly, it's a really good thing to put in place. So try that out. Before you take a trade, take some time to think about, are you happy with losing this amount of money if the trade goes wrong? Because that's what you're doing. You're basically saying, hey, I am paying this to see if I'm right. And you have to be prepared for that to go, yep, didn't work out, and it goes into the market's pocket. And if you're not prepared to do that, then you wait for the trade you are prepared to do it with, or you do it with a size and a monetary amount that you are prepared to do. And that means you're not gonna be surprised, you're not gonna be frustrated, you're going to keep on a level playing field, or sorry, level-headed when you're trading, which is what it's all about. All right, guys, take care. Hope that's helped. Keep the risk managed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.